First time people see a 3D printer in motion, it, it's, it's captivating. People are mesmerized by it, and everybody wants to get involved. 3D printer is kind of like magic. One minute you have this box on your desk, and the next minute you see an object appearing out of thin air. At M3D, we knew at some point in the future, these tools would be a part of everyone's lives. Um, so we asked, why not now? But there hasn't been a truly affordable consumer printer that's easy to use. You just plug it in and hit print uh, until now. And that's why we made the Micro 3D printer. We started with a seamless design and we looked at all the existing 3D printers and we took everything that we liked and redesigned everything else. We knew that in order for them to really live up to their potential that they had to be affordable and completely effortless to use. And several months uh, later we'd, we'd done it. In addition to reducing the size and the weight of the box, we also reduced the power consumption by about a factor of 10 compared to professional 3D printers. By making it more power efficient, you basically reduce your costs of every component. It becomes lighter, the electronics become more affordable, everything drops. We use auto leveling and auto calibration so that you're never messing with the printer. We decided we had to provide software that just makes it really easy. So we have a library of existing parts and select what you want, just hit print. People can use other sources for their filaments or they can use ours and it goes both ways. Other people with different printers can buy our filaments as well. The Micro 3D printer is for everyone. We designed it to be perfect for beginner users but also for expert users. Of course they're already very useful today. You can use it for things like replacing a shower hook or building real prototypes or even functional parts, uh, replacements for things around your house for example. And that's just scratching the surface of what 3D printers are capable of. A true desktop printer should be compact, good looking, super easy to use, and most importantly, reliable, right out of the box. And this is why Nia was created. Nia is round, sexy, and minimalistic, but not without cause. Nia's cylindrical shape adds to the overall strength and stability compared to conventional box-shaped printers. We know that desktop real estate is crucial. That's why Nia's footprint to build volume is unmatched. We like to say, if you got room for a lamp, you got room for a Nia. Out of the box, Nia is ready to print with easy to use, feature rich software and our very own cool spool filament cartridge. However, feel free to use any open source software and third party filament that is compatible. Nia will give you the print quality and speed of an expensive machine, but at a much more affordable price. But don't let the prices fool you. Nia is made smart, not cheap. Our printers are designed, manufactured, and assembled right here in North America, using only high-end electronic components and hardware. And in order to be future ready, NIA is modular. Once upgrades are available, easily swap out the standard components for future innovations that are already in the works. Don't be left behind with an obsolete unit. It's the best of both worlds. Beautiful like a Mac. Whoa but upgradable like a PC. Moving on. Neat Stuff is our online community where users can download, share, and market their creations. Our goal is to make 3D printing more accessible and friendly, which is why Neat Stuff will also include NIA-specific video tutorials and educational tools. Crowdfunding is a great way to market a product but campaigns that don't live up to their hype and promises are becoming all too common. We had to remove any internal doubt by making sure that our prototypes were not just smoke and mirrors, but actual 3D printers that worked well. Unveiling at CES this year proved just that. People walking by were skeptical, as they should be. But when they stopped, got their hands on Nia, learned the differences, and actually saw it printing, they got super excited. We heard from you, the user, what you liked and what you didn't. We learned what's important and what matters, which further reinforces why we think you'll love Nia just as much as we do. 
With your feedback at CES, we've made Nia even better, and we can't wait to share it with you. I've been involved in the field of personal fabrication for five years now, and I've seen what an amazing impact that these tools can have, but I've also realized that these tools are just a fraction of what's possible. When we were at the Media Lab at MIT, we had access to an amazing set of tools, 3D printing being one of the most important. For designers and engineers like us, there was simply no solution if you want a high-resolution 3D printer at low cost on your desk. So we decided to build it ourselves. I really cannot imagine where my research would be without 3D printers. I would really like to have a 3D printer at my desk. We don't currently have any of the existing low-cost machines because the part quality, resolution, and repeatability is nowhere where we need it to be. In architecture and many design fields, the software tools have advanced pretty significantly, but there's been a gap between what you can actually design and what you can actually make. And I think the Formlabs printer provides an exciting opportunity to be able to design and then physically make quickly precise complex geometry. Formlabs changes the way people design things. They're going to be able to get really pro quality 3D printed parts way cheaper, way faster than they've ever been able to do that before. Formlabs takes us a giant step closer to the engineer's dream, which is routine 3D printing the way they, they print on paper. To design a 3D printer that produces great parts every time, you've got to bring together a team of designers, engineers, and material scientists to make a tightly integrated product. If you can do that, you can fundamentally change 3D printing. And I think we've done exactly that. Stereolithography is great. It's a tried and true process. It's been around for well over 25 years. It produces the best quality parts in the industry. The way it works is pretty simple. A laser beam is drawn across the surface of a liquid plastic resin that hardens when exposed to a specific wavelength of light. After the layer is drawn, the build platform lifts and the process is repeated layer by layer until the part is finished. We have a great user experience. We have powerful and easy to use software. We've built a reliable and beautifully designed printer, and we're developing materials which will enable our users to make amazing things. We've been working on the design of our product for over a year, and it's nearly complete. And so now it's time to start gearing up manufacturing so that we can get it into the hands of users everywhere. But to do that requires substantial resources. The bottom line, designers are going to be able to make a lot more 3D printed parts. And I don't mean a few designers, I mean a few hundred thousand designers, a million designers, are going to have access to 3D printing in a way they didn't before Formlabs. Imagine you have an incredible concept, and what we want to do is give you a great tool to make it real. We're the team behind Tico. As inventors, we constantly use 3D printers to create and test our ideas. But every 3D printer we used fell short of our expectations. They were heavy, overcomplicated, and unreliable. We often spent more time calibrating our printers than printing our inventions. So we came up with a simple solution, Unibody. This is Tico, the Unibody 3D printer. Most 3D printer frames are built using separate rails. Unibody means the rails are built into the chassis, creating one solid piece. One solid piece, unibody. And with this simple shift in design, all the problems that came from separate rail systems disappeared. More reliable and accurate, Tico sets a new standard for 3D printers. And it doesn't stop at unibody. Tico has an internal filament tray, and closed build chamber, auto safety shutoff, a large print volume, a flexible base, wireless connectivity, 
and cloud-based software so you can print from almost anywhere on any internet-friendly device. With Tico, we've not only set a new standard for design, but for price too. Tico is only $179. Yup, one, seven, nine. That's the beauty of unibody design. It's better and it costs less to manufacture. We could set the price higher, but we want everyone to have a Tico. Thank you for liking and commenting on this video, and please don't forget to subscribe. The soundtrack to your water activities has changed. This is the OMO Plus, the optical musical object, a Bluetooth 3.0 speaker that is waterproof and it floats. There's something about being in the pool or even a hot tub that goes better with music. But our music today comes from our phones, and our phones don't mix well with water. But with the Omo Plus, your music can swim.